Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Truck of Tomorrow series. So, we are at the Camping World 225 here at Chicagoland, and hey, we just came fresh off our win at Watkins Glen. So, let's uh, hopefully turn that around and get it to at least a top five here in, in, uh, here in Chicagoland. Yo, Zero, welcome to the stream, man. <laughs> Oh man, and that's why we don't have. Uh, and that's why we don't have nice things. So, without further ado, this is the setup that we're running. It's actually smack dab in the middle. It will be on later on. Zero. I'm doing a double header right now, so we will. It will be on for our Bristol night race. But yep, it's uh, here's our uh, setup. It's actually right here, smack dab in the middle, and brake bias is the only thing that's been moved up, and we are decently fast, you know. A solid top 10 car so without further ado let's get to uh let's get to uh new hampshire nice man go, go, go. new hampshire is like one of my uh least favorite tracks on the schedule for obvious reasons but yeah but no i no i totally agree with you like if, if it was real life and uh that was that question was positive to me of uh if she could become a NASCAR pro, then no, I, I would not. I would agree with you. But this isn't Natalie Decker. This is me. This series uh, takes a. Uh, it's supposed to be me driving this. And yes, I know it has the custom character, but it takes it from career mode, so I don't really have control over that. I'm not about to create two characters every time I go to uh, go to the track. But no, I totally agree with you. Anywho. So, Chicago land is pretty straightforward. Um, it's honestly, you can kind of treat it like Kansas. And you can also really treat it like La uh, Las Vegas, but really. Whoa, I made it out of the dirt series. Ah, so joke's on you. I'm in the trucks now. Well, I'm in the Xfinity now. So, uh, let's see who got the uh, first play, uh, first championship point here. So, uh, Kyle Benjamin all the way down there and last. All the way up here. We are smack dab in the middle of the... Uh, oh, of course it's Brent Moffitt. Why not? Dude is so strong. Oh, by the way, Chad, if you look down below and see... Um, uh, the ch current championship, uh, uh, the current championship, uh, uh, points. Uh, Ross Chastain is, like, dead last, uh, like, next to Sheldon Creed. So, like, I like how, whenever I do this series, it, if we want to take lore into account, it's, like, the people that D, uh, like, for the ones that aren't in the race, they, like, DNQ. So, it's weird to see that Ross is all the way down there. Same with Sheldon Creed. But we'll see how the race goes. We have 150 laps on the way. Let's just get straight into it. I'm excited. Chad, hopefully you're excited. Let's go racing. So Brett Moffat, of course, uh, got that first championship point. He, oh, there it is. Haley Deegan posted some fast laps in practice. She needs it. She is well below the cut line. She needs to have a good race. So, All right, you're coming to the green. I don't know how ready, well ready. a good race is going to uh, get because she's still behind me, but we'll see. But we are green. So, of course, for everyone that is aware of the Truck of Tomorrow uh, series, we are only allowed three four tire stops so I have to really watch my tires Still there. and we don't want to be too aggressive because it is a it is gonna be a long race but Careful. we'll see what Still happens there. and if you recall from last week at uh, Watkins Glen Brad Moffitt dive bombed us into uh, turn one almost had the Still win there. but here he is getting the pole, that extra championship point, and 
well on the way to victory because it looks like he is pulling away from Tyler Ankrum. But a lot can happen. We don't know when caution's going to come out. Strategy's going to be all over the place. But like I said, we only have th uh, 12 sets of... Well, not 12 sets. 12 tires to work with. So let's just make it happen. Slowly making our way to, to the front. It's, tr <laughs> it's trucking along today, yep. That's me. Let's try the high side. Because Grand Finger seemed to have found something. Get a good run on the front stretch. Get in this draft. Oh, leaves all open. Still there. Yo, Daniel, welcome to the stream, man. You keep saying that. I'm looking forward to it. Tyler Ankrum took the lead. Still there. Uh, awesome Wayne Self just is right there, and I can't get that proper run. But we're all pretty clumped up, so we're making our way to the front. Zero, I didn't know you stream. Uh, you were a streamer. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. I had no idea. Excellent, good job. Like all hell's bells. If I would have known, I would have been there. Hell, you guys show me some love. I want to show some love back. You know. My right front tire taps. Oh, mamma mia. That's something we're going to have to work on throughout the race. But Tyler Ankrum actually took the lead from Brent Moffitt, so I guess that's commentator's curse right there. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Oh, no, I, I totally get you. We're taking this thing three wide. I've been getting over a cold myself uh, that I had last week, and, like, so while I'm teaching in the classroom and all that, I am, uh... I am coughing and hacking. It is just not a pretty sight. Got a car high now. Yeah, but we have plenty of time to work on it. Stay on the bottom here. Car outside. Oh, I got a little too aggressive there. Hit car the apron and outside. kind of bounced me off. But we broke into the top ten there very briefly. Look how the field is just splitting up. You have well, one pack uh, that's up front with us, and then there's you have one pack that's still back there. Oh, well, New Hampshire? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I get you. Um, I have problems with that in the Xfinity series uh, of making them last. And getting too loose, especially getting into turn one. Because you really don't need uh, to break at all throughout the entire uh, throughout the entire circuit. But uh, it certainly helps. Yeah, I'm just really tight. I need to loosen up. Well, that's just uh, that's just the uh, outside, outside. that's just the bumps are reacting because that's one thing I really love with uh, Heat Four is that the characteristics of the track, you know, being bumpy or not very bumpy. Tyler Dipple comes out of nowhere. You have to give him room. Yeah, like right there, into going to turn one and two, there's a huge bump right there, and the car, truck, whatever you're racing at the time, really affects it. 
By the way, Granitefinger is in the lead now. He was back up here, uh, back here with us. What the hell happened? Alright, so I'm gathering that the top is not at all working. However, we're so tight that, uh, um, our right front is, uh, higher on wear than our, uh, rear is. And usually it's the other way around. Like, when we're loose, our rear is, uh, wearing a lot more because we're putting a lot more gas into it in order to save it from spinning out. But this time around, it's our right front because we're constantly turning the wheel. But yeah, if you recall uh, from our championship points, um, Harrison Burton and I are the only ones currently locked up into the championship. Of course, that may or may not change uh, this uh, week because there looks like to be a new winner on the horizon. But yeah, us two are locked into the playoffs. And again, if you want to check out the points system, I have it all down below. If you're watching on Twitch, it's right there in my info, and if you're watching on YouTube, then it'll be uh, right in the description. It looks like people's uh, tires are starting to fall off. So we're making our way to the front. Almost went straight on into uh, Stewart there. He's still there. Gets a good run off of uh, four, though. I know, man. That's what. Car on the outside now. Oh, yep, tight. I definitely need to loosen this thing up. Car outside. Hold your line. Hey, but that, honestly, that could be a uh, that could be a blessing in disguise, you know. It bunches the uh, the uh, or the field back up for you to uh, get more positions with, you know. There we go. Get past Ross. And we're solidly in the top ten now. Get a little draft from uh, Stuart Friesen. There we go. That's that's the line that I want to run. We're going places, chat. Turns one and two is definitely our best turns. Three and four definitely need work. And I think that's just going to help when I get loosened up. Because I am far too tight. We're currently caution free here in the first 20 laps of the race. Another caution, oh my goodness. Dang, Zero.
I think I'm only going to need like a half round. Everything else is fine. Like how it handles is fine. I'm just too tight. Like how I drift off the corners like that. That was a prime example. But it looks like Grand Finger is about to come up on uh, lap traffic, so we'll see how uh, this whole thing shakes out. We still have a long way to go. Man, Brad Moffat really has fallen. He's back here in eighth now. Getting like snippets of the draft. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Turn turn two, I am just so unbelievably tight. Because I don't get that proper turn in. But hopefully everyone's enjoying the show so far as we uh, get to 25 uh, laps into this 150 lapper. Grand and Finger is currently the leader. Currently, he is looking pretty good in terms of... Uh, points to get into uh, the playoffs, but hey, a win changes all of that. And he's looking to be pretty good so far. Us, on the other hand, we're already in, so we don't have anything to worry about. We're just racing for uh, to solidify our seating. And if you're new around here, um, and if you're just joining for the first time, welcome. This is the Truck of Tomorrow series. You usually run every Friday night. However, I had a long week. I wanted to get caught up on sleep. I'm gonna, I'm being honest here. So, we uh, are just streaming it Saturday morning. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the show. Truck of Tomorrow series is a custom series that I run involving my own series of uh, points. All that is going to be down below in either the description if you're watching this on YouTube or in the info box. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch. Yes, and there is... We like to have fun around here, so... Hopefully everyone's enjoying enjoying the race, and uh, if, come and say hi if you're new. So Stuart Friesen starting to come alive right here. He, he caught Brett Moffat. Our, oh, ooh, first caution of the day. Okay. Um, everyone's pitting, so I guess I have to as well. Except for Christian Eckes. Oh, that means he's out of the race. That, he, was, he was the caution. Okay. Um, Anthony Alfredo and Kyle Benjamin are the only ones that are lapped down. Anthony Alfredo gets back on the lead lap. Where is Haley Deegan? She was 20th, because the reason I'm picking her up is because she was... She was considered to be a, well, person on fire, so we'll see. So I think this is pretty good. Uh, I went down an entire round and not just half, so we'll see how this goes. Re Resetting on the outside, so... Yeah. All right, be smart out here. All right. Going green. Be ready. Time to go. Time Restarting P8, so we gained four positions there. Looks like from Brett Moffitt. Hey, 
the middle of three, maybe not the best of choices, but right, you know, we have to live with it. We're gonna go on top of three now. Inside. Looks like it's definitely looser. Corbin Forrester up here. We're on the top of three still. Top of three. Inside. You had to leave room. Okay, well, top of three didn't work at all, so... Still there. Okay. Got one down low now. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was a power move right there. To the inside of three. Trying to snag two positions for the price of one. Should be able to clear Mason Massey here. And we'll be side by side with Matt. Started drifting up there. I had to get off the throttle and correct myself. We're still side by side. Nah, he gets me with that momentum. Alright, so... Lost one spot. Well, I guess three if we count where we uh, restarted. Finish 11th. Hey, that's respectable. You know, 11th is not that bad. Austin Wayne Self is currently the leader. Who would have thunk it? Trying to get past Brent Moffitt, our Auto teammate. Outside. Okay, now Austin Hill is the leader now. Careful, still there. Uh, generally speaking, uh, your engine is gonna what what is uh, gonna allow you more of a uh, of a uh, competitive edge. So. I would always recommend engine first, and then everything else should uh, come second to it. So, like, say if you have like an 85 engine, and but an 80 everything else, you want to match everything up because your engine, you could have a 100 engine, but like a 70 aero and uh, uh, suspension, and it won't get you anywhere. You're all clear up top. All right, okay, back up to eight. Got one down low now. Oh, but Clay Greenfield has other ideas. Hold your line. Stay high. Got one inside. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, chat. Our... Yo, bird in my beard. Thank you so much for the follow, my guy. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. Thank you so much. How you doing today, my guy? Love that name, by the way. Side by side with Clay Greenfield, Corbin Forrester. Like seriously, I don't know why, why or how he's up here. I'm doing great, man. Thanks, thanks for asking. Um, usually I run this every Friday night, but um, for anyone that is new around here, so I guess that would be with you. Uh, I am a master's student, trying to get a master's in education, and uh, I also student teach. So I just had a long week, and I wanted to catch up on some sleep. So yeah, that's why we're doing this right now. But yeah, no, seriously, as we are approaching one-third of this race, thank you so much for everyone for stopping on out. This is going to be the first race that we are going to be uh, doing today. We're going to be doing two, the other being the Bristol Night Race for Xfinity Career Mode. 
Sewer Freeze, I had a major run right there. All I can do is just get back down there and get in his draft. I think I'm a little too loose now. I think I'm gonna just split the difference and uh, go uh, bring up a uh, half around. But no, like that entire front crew of the top uh, six are gone. Austin Wayne Self, though. He is currently in the playoff uh, championship or the playoffs uh, standings right now. But hey, like I said earlier, a win changes everything. Careful, still there. I don't know, he's getting some, uh, he's getting some uh, challenged by uh, Johnny Sauter, I see. Uh, Suey's just too low. To, uh, oh, we hit the apron, bounce off of it, shoots us up the track. And that's P9. Gone. Not a big deal, though. Not a huge loss. Oh, because we have... We got the power. We do have the straight line speed. Johnny Sawyer's now in the lead. And again, he is one that is in the playoffs currently on points. And we have a long way until uh, the playoffs. But a lot can happen. So get that win in now, and not even have to worry about it. I'm trying to go on the inside of three. And that momentum, with how shallow that entry was, wasn't really helping me out. But we're gonna try it again because you know we're reckless. Why not? Turns three and four is a lot more fluid for entering uh, down low than uh, one and two because one and two is just comes out of nowhere if you're taking it that shallow because it's straight and turn because with Chicago and with its curved backstretch it really allows for a better uh, momentum swing if you're on the bottom like that thanks play Greenfield it actually held up uh, Corbin there so that's Corbin back up to 10th Get another good run on Clay Greenfield. That draft is too good. Yeah, now we're now we're just too loose. Our back end's wanting to come around. Had to be off the throttle more. Still there, door to door. Kind of had to had to push my luck there into turn three use a bit of my tire life. Alright, let's see what we can do to Seward Friesen now. Hey, P8 though. So essentially, from the restart to where we are now, we have broke even. We went on the outside of uh, three on the opening restart, and that just shunted us back all the way up to back to like what P13, 14 was it? But hey, we're better now. Back up into P8. And still have. 
two thirds of this race to go. But one thing to know is that we have two more sets of tires left on pit road. One we could possibly glue on up. So we'll see. So ideally is what I'm trying to say though, is I want this uh, to go the distance. No frequent cautions is what I'm looking for. And for anyone that uh, missed the settings originally, I... Oh, someone blew an engine. That car in front of you oh, Raphael was sorry. Oh, that really messed us up. Alright, let's get back into it. What was he doing coming down like that? And no... Towers did not call a yellow for that, too. Ooh. Oh, it's so tight. So tight. Mm. Are they on your outside? We went from too loose to too tight and everything in between right there in that one corner. Like, I felt it too loose on entry and then too tight on exit. Alright, let's just get our head down and get back to it. right behind us here to strike if any one of us mess up which in all likelihood it's gonna be me as we are just struggling out here well you know everyone has their bad days I guess but we cleared clay greenfield so we're back to where we want to be after that mishap. Alright. We're starting to calm on down now. Our rears are... Starting to scream a little bit. I just still can't believe uh, uh, Rafael Lassard was uh, coming down like that into traffic and s potentially screwing up people's races. I mean, I know it's the AI and all that. They can do whatever they want and they can react perfectly, but I'm just saying if it was real life. There would be a lot of angry people in the garage. Yeah, we're really loose in 1 and 2 now. Okay, so I may have to go back with my... Uh, not with my original uh, wedge, but like at least make it to uh, because I went from a 49.5 round to a 48.5. I'm going to have to just make it dead in the middle and make it 49 because I was too tight on uh, the first run and now I'm too loose here. This truck's a diva. It wants everything and but it wants to give me nothing. One thing it is giving me is straight line speed, so hey, I'm okay with that. I'm 
185 going into uh, turn one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I will take that straight line speed any day, all day. So we're going to be coming up on lap traffic here, though. Up, oh, Natalie Decker is uh, going to the pits with look, it looks like a blonde engine, so. Aww. F in chat for Natalie. Race is official. Again, no yellow for that as well. So it must must be like one of those things where she'll repair it. It must be overheating and not like an actual blown engine. But yeah, we're gonna come up with a clump of uh, trucks uh, that are lapped down. Yep, Natalie's coming back out. So it was one of those, uh, hey, I'm overheating things and not a blown engine. Okay, so it's good to see competitors back out on the track. Looks like Jennifer Jo Cobb is uh, the first person coming back down, or is that Josh Blicky? Can't really quite tell. Maybe Josh. Oh, no, it's Kyle Benjamin first. Okay. Down here in 29th. Get a good run on him. Where is he going to go, top or bottom? He's going to run the bottom. I'll run the top. Well, not really the top, per se. More like the middle. But either way. And then use my straight line speed to pass. Use my push to pass. Anthony Alfredo's next. Yeah, he's not having a good day at all. DGR Crosley is going to be very upset with him with uh, getting basically second to last. My Snyder as well down here. And Thor Spore Racing. Oh. My Snyder, like real talk, was like one of those uh one of those people that I'm like, man, I'm surprised that they actually put them in put him into the game. He only raced once, and that was for uh Johnny Sauter when he was suspended at Gateway. And he's down here in this game. Why not like bring in like Norm Benning or Jesse Awuji? Maybe they just denied to be in the uh, denied to be in the game because they can they can just do that you know so makes sense. Josh Rayum though. It would have been nice to see Norm Benning in here you know. And Joe Namachek, which, by the way, it'll be nice to see John Hunter and uh, Joe Namachek race uh, on the same track in the Cup Series on Sunday, you know? That's going to be great. Pit stops are coming in a little uh, under 10 laps. A little over a 10 laps, just the same man. But Johnny Sauter is gone, 10 seconds away from us. I thought Brent Moffat was going to be the favorite, then it was going to be Tyler Ankrum before the first caution came out, now it's going to be Johnny Sauter. But now that me saying that is probably going to change uh, here as a, a laps tick on down. Oh, 
pulling away from Matt Crafton, though. That's good. And Clay Greenfield. So it looks like Clay has a really good short run truck, but uh, struggles on the long run. Gustine. I can only assume uh, Johnny Sauter has uh, about like eight, up to 18 flapped. Careful, still there. Yeah, he used that straight line speed to pass him. No problem whatsoever. Our tires are really feeling it though. So we're about a quarter of a track behind uh, Johnny. Quarter, coming up on the third. Because it, he just crossed the uh, start finish line and we were entering turn three. So, honestly, eighth place is not that bad so far, but we still have half the race to go. A lot of things can happen. Especially as we get a long green flag sin like this. Which I can feel a caution coming out here in the next five laps. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, Austin Hill and Stuart Friesen are fighting for sixth place up there. We're going to have a uh, solid group of trucks up ahead of them, and those are going to be lappers. So I can definitely say right now, I have not she uh, seen Sheldon Creed throughout this race, and that's one thing that uh, blows my mind, is that uh, he has... I mean, unless I totally missed him in, uh, in the qualifying results... But out of the three races so far, he DNQ'd uh, Kansas and finished last in Watkins Glen with a blown engine. Oh, pit stops are happening. Johnny Sauer is the first one to stop on down. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wear this out. Either my tire is going to my tire indicator is gonna come first, or my fuel. I'm just going to stay on out. Those are some early stoppers, too. So they wanted that fresh rubber. Because really only like one person's pitting from the leaders this time. That's the halfway mark. There's Johnny. Yeah, I don't want to get screwed over by a caution, so I'm going to stick on out, out here. Alright, there's my tire indicator. Then I'll make it next time. I see Todd Gillen and Stuart Friesen right here. Matt Crafton's coming down, so yeah, I'm going to make it this time. I know we have... Four, come down to three uh, laps of fuel left, but I don't want to. I don't want the uh, other drivers around me to get an undercut. I got to cover them off. So this time, this time. Not gonna use that extra second to uh, 
to uh, repair damage. Um, like I said, I'm going to bring it up a little bit there. I don't think I need to adjust anything with the tape, but just four tires and fuel and we'll be good. Fifteen point five. It's decent. Clear the pit. Hammer down. All right, so we're P eight right now. That's because Brett Moffat has yet to pit. There's Austin Hill, and there's Stuart Friesen. So we did gain some time on that. Jennifer Joe Cobb in the lead. What? Oh, mamma mia. That's a spicy meme. That, those were... Okay, okay. All right. You're all clear on the bottom. But yeah, we definitely gained some time there on uh, pit road by staying out, but I don't know if we uh, lost any to Johnny up in the lead, because Austin Wayne Self is now in the lead, so where did Johnny go? Did he have his pit road speeding penalty or something like that? Because we're here in seventh, where'd he go? So we gained. Powers called the caution. Oh, no, he's there in seventh. So who did we lose up here? Let's see here. Johnny saw a granite finger. Okay. Well, we just pit. So literally, there is no point to pit right now. Um, Harrison Burn. There's Ross. There's Brett. Josh Blicky is pitting. Haley Deegan's in twentieth still, but she'll get the uh, she'll get the lucky dog. Yeah. I do not see Sheldon Creed, by the way, so, uh, Tyler Ankrum, oh, no, disaster, oh, no, Tyler, the 18-year-old, currently solidly in the playoffs, but, oh, that's gonna hurt with a 30th place right there. All right, but yeah, Sheldon Creed yet again, DNQ. Disaster for him. Essentially starting his season literally <laughs> the worst possible results. Gotta call high now. Man, this bottom lane is just not going. There we go, finally. Go to the bottom of three. Careful, still there. You know, it'll be a fairy tale if uh, Austin Wayne Self gets a win and uh, goes into the playoffs. Fairy tale ending right there. Still there. Outside, outside. Just on the bottom of Austin Hill. He needs to give me a little room. Wow, he was, like, right on my quarter panel there. We're gonna force him on back. Slid on up and took his lane, but yeah, look at us up here in the third. Adjustments may be starting to work out. Clay Greenfield back here as well. He followed us. Use that draft, use that straight line speed. Do I think we have a shot at winning? Maybe. If we ma keep making adjustments like this. Because Austin Wayne Self is going back to the lead. Here on 
next time I get on the back stretch, I will see exactly uh, where uh, Awesome Wayne Self is on uh, the playoff standings. Because, like I said, it will be a fairy tale for him. I know he's uh, not exactly towards the cut line, but he is looking pretty, pretty good so far. What? Do me a favor, chat. PSA from uh, <laughs> from Private Pen. Don't uh, race and look up pictures. All right. So go low right there. Okay. There's Stuart Friesen looking to mountain attack right here. He had a run on us. Yep. There is no stopping him. Shot us up the track because we made contact. So, okay. Austin Wayne Self is currently 11th in the uh, standings. Nine above the cut line. So, if he can pull out a win here, that just evaporates. He's in. He's good. No need to worry about anything. But yeah, with a little touch from uh, Stewart. That evaporated our third place and went down three whole positions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Loose, loose, loose. I tried turning in a little early. I'm just like, the truck was just like, nope. Hard from the outside, outside. Brett Moffitt uh, looked to have a good run off of four, but just to not, does not have the straight line speed in order to uh, make that mood stick. But we get a good run off too. Yeah, this, this truck feels good. I think this is as good as we're going to get it, chat. Look down low on Johnny. Get a draft from Todd. Stay low. That's Truck Series winner Todd Gill into you. So side by side. Johnny's gonna get a good run off too. Here he goes. Oh the air, I can feel I can feel the air just making the truck just want to slide up the track. Careful, still there. With how close Johnny is right there. Just like that. It just gets me so tight. Looking down low. Nothing to make of it that lap. I'm not gonna make a move here on Stewart this time. I know it wasn't wasn't gonna work. Oh, yeah, I need to cool out my uh, right front. It almost got to 270 there. That is not going to fly. Stewart doing the same thing here and not giving me a whole lot of room, but we definitely, definitely held it a, a lot better than Johnny, because with Johnny, he is just 
he has a fast truck. Stay low, stay low. All outside. Hold your line. A lot faster than Stuart, so I feel like I can hold my own against Stuart than uh, Johnny. Stay low. While crossing the the tar strip right there on the back stretch, I truck got unsettled there. Got a little wiggle. Still there. That's GMS teammate right there. Both of them right behind me. Brett, Brett and I with the flagship uh, GMS and Stewart with uh, the affiliate. Johnny back up in the third. He's continuing his march forward. He got he restarted on the outside and that just held him up. There was no no way he was gonna make a uh, a run for the lead right there with that. The outside is just not where you want to be. Is looking high and low, seeing what he can do to take this position from me. But we have one more stop to make, chat. One more set of tires down a pit road. We have to make them last. And currently, if it stays green, we'll be pitting no matter what in about 25 laps. So we may just split this final uh, 25 laps down the middle. Chat, as we do approach the final uh, third of this race, though, how's everyone doing today? You all enjoying the race? Hopefully I'm providing a good show for y'all. Thank you so much uh, for coming on out. So, for a race rundown so far, we started P15, you know, uh, so far there have been two cautions, one for Christian Eckes, who is out of the race, and uh, one for Tyler Ankham, who is out of the race. Um, so we're up here in the P5, so net gain of 10 positions, you know, it's solid, but we have a lot of competition behind us. So we just gotta minimize our mistakes, and just continually improve on pit road, and we'll continue our march to the front. Austin Wayne Self is the leader. Currently, he is 11th in the playoff uh, standings, 9 above the cut line, so wind will just evaporate that and get him into the show for when we start our march towards the playoffs. Three trucks out of this race. They are Tyler Ankrum, Christian Eckes, and I actually forget who the third one oh, it is. Oh, man. Commentators fail right there. Raphael Lassard, that's what it is. Okay, man, I didn't think about that. Oh, fail. Currently, though, we are... So, I'd say we are... I think we are, a, like, a solid P5 truck. I don't think we have a truck to win. But we're already into the uh, the playoffs with our win up last week at uh, Watkins Glen, so I'm not really worried about that. Todd is just taking our uh, air away. Can't really gain on him um, in the corners. Todd has been very consistent so far in this uh, this season. It's it's nice to see.
he's been he has been getting like top five after top five finishing third in uh, Kansas and I want to say somewhere in the top ten at uh, at Watkins Glen still looking for that first win of the season though but we're coming up on lap traffic, so that's going to help things out a little bit. We're starting to pull away from Stewart and uh, Brett Moffat back there. Who are starting to fight them, each other. So it looks like Brett has a uh, better uh, short run truck, but Stewart has a better long run. And he's actually able to take that position away. But Austin Wayne Self is so far dominating. And just a reminder of how the points work. Um, you get a point for the fastest lap, and you get a point for most laps led. Currently, Brent Moffat holds the pole for pole. So there's bonus points up for grabs in the fastest lap, as well as the... Uh, as well as most laps led. So far, I do believe Johnny Sark. Back or down. Ooh, okay. All right. Ooh, if everyone's pinning, then I have to stop as well. Jordan Anderson gets uh, the lucky dog back there. Oh, Ben Rhodes. Oh, I didn't even see her. Uh, see her. See him back there. Down there in 22nd. That's a disaster for uh, for Thor Sport right there. Yeah. If everyone's pinning, I have to pit. Well, I guess uh, this is our last set right here. This is our final stop. We can make it from the end. Just not repairing that. I think this truck is damn near perfect. So yeah, we'll be we'll be good to go. Corbin Forster in eleventh. Yeah, good job. Clay Greenfield back there as well. We're going green. What happened to Todd? What happened to Todd? He's not out of this race. Disaster on pit road? Granite Fingers pushing Austin Wayne self to the lead. Clears Johnny. Oh, oh try to fill in a hole right there, and that's not working. There we go. Brett did the, almost tried the same exact thing to me. Oh, Todd, there he is back here. Inside. Disaster on pit road. Down the inside. Oh, but we're, because of that, we're restarting on the high side, and that's really hurting us. I can't get clear of Todd, so I still have to stay here on the top. Austin Wayne himself gets uh, shuffled out. Granite Finger takes the lead. We're still on the top side. Still there. All right, finally, we can get back down low. Disaster of a restart. You do not want to be on the high side on a restarts, chat. It's a uh, good runoff, but we'll use that straight line speed to uh, hopefully get past him. Uh, had to really look out. Tyler Dipple looking racy back here. Austin Hill in the lead now. A bunch of Austins up there in the top five, I see. But we are done with we are done with um, our tires, so we are we have to make these last to the end. And clear. Okay, 
Now let's race on up to the rest of the uh, crew up here. Stuart Friesen in the lead now. Anyone can win this chat. They're all looking for that ticket to the playoffs. Johnny Sar takes it. He's back in the lead. Yo, Austin, uh, 0077. Welcome to the stream, man. How does online work? Um, so essentially, online works essentially how, um, like regular points, uh, paying positions work. So like first for 40, uh, second 35, uh, third gets 34, so on, so on. Minusing out one point for every position. And, uh, winner, uh, doesn't get, like, uh, the bonus points or anything like that. That's how online, uh, points works. Got one inside. Clear all around. And Tyler Dipple's looking... Pretty racy back here. Inside. Uh, he, yeah, he's there. I had to give him room. Fortunately, that puts us to the outside, but we're going to be... Yo, let's, let's get that 928. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. Yeah, because of that, uh, the outside definitely does not work on uh, at Chicago Land. It works for Kansas, but definitely not here. Do I play with the wheel? I do not play with the wheel. Actually, this is all controller. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like uh, with the wheel, uh, there are some games that. I mean, definitely suits you more with a wheel than a uh, controller does. But I have just never been able to get the heat games with the wheel, you know? That's why I, ra I race with a, uh, a controller. And I like to say that I'm pretty, I'm pretty nimble uh, when it comes to a controller. Pretty smooth, you know? I'm definitely not as smooth as uh, a wheel, but definitely up there. I know, I'm, I'm not going to shoot to the inside here. There's going to be no space. I'm not going to be able to complete it. Complete that pass. But yo, we are actually one follow away from our next uh, follower goal. And that follower goal is going to be our next open online lobby. There we go. Get to dip on the inside. Oh, I, I would love to try iRacing. I just don't have the time nor the uh, the money to get like a rig and... Uh... Yo, Austin, thank you so much for the follow. Hey, we did it. 150 follows. Thank you so much, man. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the show. All right, man. Thank you all so much for the follows. Uh, we are going to be doing our uh, open lobby here probably next Friday, then. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh oh, what happened here? You're all clear at the bottom. Todd, disaster. Todd Goland blowing an engine. Trying to release my inner Hi, Vince Welch and just nothing. <laughs> You're all clear on the bottom. And just acting surprised. Oh, disaster for Todd Gilland. 
But no, seriously, chat, thank you all so much for, um, for helping me out and getting that follower goal. You all are awesome. Got one down low now. Exactly. Yeah, the more, like I said, the more people that, uh, uh, the more people that are uh, follow, that means the more people can actually join the lobby. And like I said, I'll, I'll make that next Friday. Thank you all so much. Welcome to the Groovy Crew. Okay, but back to this race. Todd Gill, an absolute disaster for him. In the top five in points, and that is definitely going to hamper his chances right here. Hopefully it wasn't like a full-on blown engine. It was just a uh, it was just an overheating issue. We'll see if he comes back out. He's at far dot on pit road. I think he may be out, chat. KBM just not having a good race. Christian Eckes, Todd Golan, Raphael Lassard all out of this race. Oh, KB is going to be pissed. Disaster for KBM. After their absolute highlight at Kansas, finishing 1, 2, 3 to 3 out of their 4 trucks out at Chicagoland. And all in a difference of 2 races. The only one that's still in it right now is Harrison Burton. Currently second in the second in points, and I have no idea where he's at. He's somewhere in the teens, but that's about it. But for anyone that is new around here, th uh, thank you all for stopping out for first and foremost. I can't do this without uh, all of y'all. Um, what I am doing right now is called the Truck of Tomorrow. It's a custom championship mode where I am racing. Uh, my own set of points. If you're watching on Twitch, it'll be down below, and if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description. Um, essentially, uh, we all get... It's essentially the same points as NASCAR uh, awards, but with an extra uh, point for pull, uh, fastest lap, and most laps led. Currently, I and Harrison Burton have put punched our tickets to the playoffs, and again, the points will be down below. Go to the high side here. Is enough room on the on the low side. And in regards to uh, each race, I have the schedule down below as well. Yo, I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher your name, Alabrace. Is that how you say it? Welcome to the stream, man. How y'all doing today? How's everyone doing today? Thank you so much for stopping on out. Currently, Johnny Sauter is in the top five in points, but uh, a win will punch his ticket to the playoffs. So that will fix it, but right behind him is Austin Wayne Sell. We looked and he's 11 in the championship, and a win will eliminate that right there. Alabares. Okay, thank you so much. I didn't want to just. I didn't want to make uh, make it uh, wrong, you know? Alabaris. Okay, thank you so much. How are you doing today? Sorry for butchering your name. Off to a great start. Currently, we're locked down in eight. We can't get past uh, Corbin Forrester who is having one of the races of his career right here. Oh, we have a good run, though. Stay low. I take a look on the inside, but there's nothing there. That's awesome. Red Moffat's actually coming up on us hot and heavy. Still there. You, who's excited for the Xfinity race uh, tonight? I'm actually very excited that it's actually a night race and not a uh, day race. Texas is so much better when it's a night race. Just look at the truck series. I'm so glad they changed it to a night race.
Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm all about uh, the chat. I never really talk about myself. Sorry about that. No, I'm doing great, actually. Um, I uh, had a good week uh, teaching. Uh, oh, for anyone that's new, actually, I should say, um, I am getting my master's in education, and I student teach uh, along with that. So whenever I'm not streaming here, I am usually in the classroom teaching. So it was a uh, long week. Usually I race this every Friday, but uh, I wanted to catch up on sleep because I was knocked out <laughs> last, uh, last night. So uh, I essentially ca caught up on some sleep, and here we are. So I'm doing great. I feel refreshed. I'm ready to do a double header. Because after this race, uh, I'm going to take a quick break, uh, grab some water, refresh myself, and then uh, we're going to be doing an episode of uh, Career Mode, which is uh, at the Bristol Night Race. What subject do I plan on teaching? Uh, social Studies. Currently um, in my classroom right now, I have a uh, I have a teacher who teaches government and modern world history, but he changes between like American history to uh, uh, to um, European history, singular topic. So yeah, we're doing world history now, and I want to go into social studies. It's been like my passion, literally, since uh, since I was a kid. Can't wait to actually get in, get in it. Currently, I'm doing a, a three-week uh, teaching uh, unit on uh, the legislative branch of uh, the government, and I just finished week one of that, so it's going good so far. Teaching is as is better than what I thought it would be. I'll say that. Oh, thank you so much. All I can say is respect your teachers. <laughs> they uh, they put in so much work, uh, like all the preparation that is needed to just literally complete like a 45 minute lesson. There's so much work involved in that. Catching up to uh, Brent Moffat though. Hey, no, that's that's awesome. I, honestly, whenever someone says that they enjoy a class in school, it's like, okay, you know what? That's great. You know that we, we and it's our job as teachers to help develop that because uh, classes that you like can turn into potential career opportunities, and especially in high school, which is what I teach, by the way. Um, that is all about uh, that's all about developing life skills and kind of setting uh, students on uh, their life path about what they potentially want to do. All right, so 10 to go, chat. Let's bring it back down to the race. We have 10 more laps. Johnny Sar is in the lead. I have no idea where Austin Wayne Self is, like I said. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, if your teacher is ever like kind of poking and prodding and all that, he, um, he or she is uh, kind of uh, trying to set, be like, I want to see where uh, what you're gonna do. You know, they're gonna start asking questions, especially there on in high school. Be like, hey, so what do you wanna what do you wanna major in in uh, college? I mean, you will have plenty of time to think about it, but. Especially if they, if you like a subject, they'll start putting more emphasis on that. All right, but Johnny Sauter's still in the lead. Austin Wayne Self, I can only assume, is right behind him. We have seven to go. A late race caution may still come out and just totally shake up everything. I'm sitting here in eighth. up on Kyle Benjamin. Seventh is definitely is definitely doable. Careful, still there. I'm just 
just gonna follow uh, Brett. Oh, he got by a lot uh, better than I did. Yo, Oliveras, thank you so much for the follow, man. Welcome to the Groovy Crew. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the show as we uh, come off a of four for the total of five laps ago. Again, we're just going to follow Brett Moffat here. Ooh, uh, Anthony Alfredo, why'd you come down like that? You can't just do that, my guy. Kind of rough him up a little bit. Oh, mamma mia. These lappers, I swear. They just get in the way. Alright, but... We still have seven place right here. Hey, well, thank you so much, man. I, I'm just a very personal guy. I mean, like, you know, I mean, being a teacher, you kind of have to be. So it's just natural. I love interacting with chat. That's why, like, whenever I say, if you're new around here, just come in, say hi. You know. Okay, we got past Brett. Uh, that Brett mom. That's who we're trying to get past. Uh, my Snyder. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Three to go. Ooh, very loose. Joe Nemechek. Another one by Stust. Two to go as Johnny Sauter uh, passes the uh, start finish line. We're trying to get there chat. We're trying to get that 7th place. Sorry, I'm like going like full on try hard mode. Got my head down. I'm focusing. Brent Moffat's having tr uh, problems. He's getting caught up. Get to the outside. Okay. We just got protect. We saw an opportunity and we took it with Josh Ram uh, acting as a cork there. Coming off a of four, though. Johnny Sauter comes to the line and punches his playoff ticket. Brent Moffat is right behind me, though. No mistakes. Us, on the other hand, we keep it clean, coming off of four, and come home with a respectable top ten at seventh. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Yes, it is our worst uh, finish of the season so far, but to have seventh place as the worst finish of the season, I'll take that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see how everything shook on out. Fast slap goes to Johnny Sauter, so that it most likely uh, most laps led too. So he gets two bonus points, one for most laps led and one for fastest lap. I'm gonna have to, when I come around uh, the other side, it's gonna. I'm definitely gonna need to uh, check out that again so I can actually take pictures. And Tyler Ankrum, I know disaster. He was looking so strong for that. Because like I said, uh, chat, for anyone that is new around here, this is all custom championship mode. So I need to, I need to see uh, everything and take pictures of uh, the results and everything because currently it looks like we extend our championship lead. Maybe, maybe actually holding it uh, off of Johnny Sauter, but it was still a good point save for us. Even though we finished P7, it wasn't the strongest run. It wasn't the best. But definitely better than Todd Gillen down there in 29th. I'll say that. Same with Christian Eckes. I know they were both well above the cut line. Same with Tyler Income too. But every good day needs to have a bad. 
I will say that. Chad, hopefully y'all enjoyed the race. I was just saying that right now. Like I said, we are uh, going to be doing a double header today. Uh, so after this, it's going to be the uh, um, the Xfinity uh, career mode race at uh, Bristol Night. I'm looking forward to that. Alabaris, thank you so much for the follow. Have a great day, my dude. Enjoy the race. So, hey, you know what? I'll take that.